to them now. Introducing the referee on stage, Mr. Chupon in Ta Yot. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first the challenger fighting of the blue corner. 23 years of age. He's now 165 centimeters tall and weighing in at 14 pounds. He will record of 53 wins, five losses, and one draw. He is an interim rush of the stadium super flyweight champion representing Japan. Let's hear it for Nanaka Ewa Sports Yeah! Opponent fighting out of the red corner, the current Russian of the Stadium Super Flyweight Champion. 25 years of age, he's down at 65 centimeters tall and weighed even at 14 pounds. He will record 54 wins, 12 losses, and two draws. Representing Thailand, the Tiber Red Bull, Hell Brown! Hell Brown! You know, Antoine, I've been looking forward to this fight all night. These two fighters have such drastically different fighting styles. I'm so excited to see how it plays out. A clash of style. Naraka, first round. Of course, five rounds. Muay Thai action for the title. Naraka taking his time. Both Southpaws here. So I saw his previous battle, uh, Proud Pro. It seems like he likes to get in close, throw some elbows, uh, a lot of punches, where Nadaka prefers to keep at a kicking distance for most of the, mm. the battle. That said, I have seen Nadaka go in for some knees, sometimes Ooh. elbows. Yeah, Nadaka fought on RWS four times and has four, won four times by knockout. Proud Pro fought nine times in 2023 and won six of those fights. Yeah, yeah, who can forget Nadaka's match? I think it was last February with that high kick knockout of his yeah, opponent. Yeah, absolutely. Now, Nadaka with the low kick, taking his time. Pow Pow, there was a massive influence online saying that he will be way too slow for Nadaka. But right now, he's coming up with a perfect game plan, not waiting for Nadaka, but really pushing forward. We've seen the damage that Nadaka has done before with the low kicks, as well as the hands. Nadaka saying, come for me. Everyone saw those photos on Instagram with the damage he's done with the yeah. low kicks. Shots that went viral online after the damage done by Nadaka and those low kicks. Woo! Well blocked there from Plow Plow. Really good game plan. You can see how he's applying pressure and why he is the current Russian champion. Good punch there from Nadaka. Woo! Moving around in the fury now. What? Oh, and he's hurt. He's hurt. He's hurt. Can he get the finish? Oh, my God. First round. And the crowd going crazy. Can Plow Plow survive the storm right now? Nadaka going for it. Punches to the head, to the body. Looking to finish the fight with a locking and down. He goes for the second time. And the ref will call it a knockdown this time. You know, Plow Plow's got a lot of heart, but is that going to be enough to hold off the attacks of Nadaka here? And a goes for that now. high kick. Oh my god, this is such an exciting match. Pow Pow pushing forward now. He can't Good. fight on the back foot. We've seen why. Nadaka, stiff hands. Woo, going for the hat kick. Won't be landing this time. It won't be the first time where Pow Pow is behind on the scorecard. If he is actually able to come back. 20 seconds remaining on the clock. Uh, woo, and a combination again from Nadaka. And I believe the reason why he was so successful in that storm was the combination head and legs. Nadaka, a very technical fighter, very good at sways. He's got good eyesight. But the one thing he needs to watch out is getting tied up in the clinch and maybe those elbows from Pro mm. Pro. Of course, it will be 10 8 round for Nadaka.
All right, Antoine, here we go with round two. Yeah, can Prow Prow turn it around? You can see how he's applying pressure even more this round. He needs to stay close. He knows it. That's him staying hump. right out of reach, though. Yeah, he is indeed. The elbows is probably the best weapon of choice for Prow Prow right now. Nadeka with an amazing footwork circling around. Woo! And the knee. Oh, look at the stiff elbow. A stiff jab from Nadaka, snapping that head back, too. Oh! A big elbow from Nadaka. Papa walks right into it. And you can see Papa really trying to get a hold of Nadaka to get close, but it seems like a difficult <laughs> task right now. It's just chasing a shadow. That really is Nadaka's specialty, though, is maintaining the distance he likes to stay in. Oh, look at that. Turning around and getting out of reach right away. Oh, beautiful display of skills there from Nadaka. How is Plow Plow eating those shots? One, two, and how many more can he take? Oh, and will he go down? Will it be chin. over? He's still standing. That's amazing, just that fact. How is he still alive is what they say. Oh, Nadaka throwing elbows. Just out of reach of Plow Plow's elbows. Nadaka, a master at circling around. Nadaka is quite uh, comfortable staying in the pocket with Pro Pro, though. Yeah, absolutely. He looks in total control right now. A lot of that redirecting that Nadaka does so well. Hmm. So much heart from Prow Prow, though, to still even be standing. Oh, look at that. I don't know for how long, though. Can you make it out of this round? High kick from Madaka. Prow Prow still charging forward. Oh, big elbow. And again. Madaka just attacking at will, though. Oh, how many more shots can Prow Prow take? Nadaka in total control right now. Now the question is kind of like, which uh, attack is he going to knock him out with? Oh, Pao Pao. Champion for a reason. Don't count him out just yet. And a big nice straight left there. hand from uh, Pao Pao. Nadaka still in the fight, though. Woo! One, two. Just out of reach. Nadaka with the footwork. And now going for the legs. Oh, big left hand coming from the... Interim champion Nadaka, Plow Plow, the heart of a warrior, still in the fight. It's amazing that Plow Plow is still standing after that round. Round three. All right, we're kicking off round three here. Plow Plow still charging forward. Pao Pao, don't cut him out just yet. He is still part of the fight. Of course, standing as a champion, but Nadaka, like I said before, looking like a shadow. Chasing him down means nothing. Just way too quick, and look at that footwork there from Nadaka. Nadaka's so good at just swaying right out of reach. <laughs> Pao Pao just unable to connect yet. Nadaka with the stiff jabs right now. Prow -prow. Oh, the big Not elbow. giving up. Prow Prow basically needs a, a knockdown, no, a knockout to win, yeah, right? Yeah, he does. He does indeed. It'll be interesting to see if Nadaka will slow down after moving around like this for so long. But right now, Prow Prow is just ch chasing him down without really throwing anything. Oh, big left hand from the champion. Oh, and a one, two. And the power from Nadaka has been taken nice away a little elbow. bit. Good elbow there, though. Pao Pao now looking stronger and stronger throughout the rounds. Good elbow. Ooh, and another one coming from Nadaka. He's switching over to the knees now. Elbows from both sides. Nadaka probably still wondering how he's still able to stand. Yeah, absolutely. It looks like Nadaka is not hitting as hard as he was in the first round. So perhaps the opportunity for Pao Pao to come back 
But right now, I'm not quite sure if Papa is actually exhausting himself by chasing him down as well or not. Now he's in the ropes. Can the champion do something? Not just yet. Nadeka will be able to move around. True, and you know, since it's a championship match, it's not three rounds, but five, It correct? is, absolutely, it is five rounds. Nice Papa way there. Going fancy, oh, but hitting a classic one-two from Nadeka. Trying to throw one of his own. You haven't seen Nadaka finish many opponents with the one, two. It's usually a high kick, sometimes a knee, sometimes an elbow. Oh, oh and as I say that. <laughs> head kick attempt from Nadaka. Helplow having the interim champion in the ropes. Can he do something? And this is just how great Nadaka is with his footwork, being able to escape the angles, the ropes, circling around, and now just picking his shots. Oh, Helplow in trouble. Looking for an opening. A big left hand from the Japanese fighter. Oh, and Papau. What? Oh, he got confused. Lost. Yeah, no, I think he got confused. Thought that was the end of the round with the bell. But well, I won't be good for sure. That's not a great <laughs> sign. That just shows that he is not in the best condition right now. Another round. Here we go. So Nadaka has been, you know, loosening his opponent up, various elbows and attacks. I think he'll still try to go for that high kick a few times this round. Here's how dangerous Nadaka is because when he circles around, you know if you try to follow too fast, you might get kick in the legs and this is why you see Pao Pao constantly trying to lift his right leg to avoid the low kicks to be able to block it. As he does that, Nadaka of course doesn't kick, he will switch it up with those hands and using that jab to keep it at distance. Of course now way up ahead on the scorecard. Just showboating why he <laughs> is the best non-tie fighter at the moment. Slip. Avoiding that back spin hand though. Just keeps eating one twos, but uh, not much damage there. Firing off that high kick again. Oh, Pao Pao just not giving up just yet. Doesn't matter how much damage is taken, he's still up there, still trying. It's kind of like when I saw the Din Wa Tong match where he got like a second win that last absolutely. round. Absolutely, right? absolutely. Anything and everything is uh, possible indeed in RWS. Oh, walking into the elbow of Nadaka. Nadaka just so comfortable circling around. His footwork is something else. And yeah, you can see he's barely taking any damage. Not really able to connect his plow plow. Oh, and the stiff left hand again. Nadaka. He managed to stay in his own striking distance. No damage. I, I guess that's why he's able to uh, do so many fights during his calendar year, right? Yeah, absolutely. And it is no, also no, no, no. the reason why Nadaka has been moving up in weight class due to the fact that he's running out of opponents. Because, ladies and gentlemen, even though Nadaka is outclassing Plow Prow right now, Plow Prow is the current champion. So the question is, who will he be fighting next? We know Kubandoy has been waiting. The question is, which weight, which title? Of course, the fight is not over yet. 30 seconds left on the clock. Can Pao Pao turn it around here in round number four? So we're still in the fourth round. One more round uh, left. We'll see how long that uh, Proud Proud can stay in the fight, but he's doing so well for this fourth, fourth round. Yeah, now you can really see Nadaka just staying in control, not really exposing himself, not even looking for the knockout. You know, he doesn't need to expose himself to a potential counterattack. Here will be the end of the fourth round. One more round for the champion to keep his belt or give it away to Nadaka. That's something barely possible, almost impossible to do. I'm quite surprised after that first round, he's even still standing. Yeah, absolutely. 
an absolute warrior. Uh, he will be giving his everything in uh, this last and final round. And you can definitely tell it's not about the wheel, but it's about the skills tonight for Prow Prow. You know, it's almost like watching a bullfighter and Nadaka just kind of, you know, swiftly moving out the way, redirecting yeah. his opponent. Yeah, that's a great analogy. That's absolutely right. Of course, let's not forget, ladies and gentlemen, we we are live every Saturday on The Zone. And we will be back in Japan very soon, as well as different countries for this year. Some of the best Muay Thai fighters in the world for you guys to witness. And Nadaka tonight is definitely showing you that he is one of them. Just a little slip there by Prow Prow. Of course, after the fight, we'll get to interview both fighters. A wild swing there by Prow Prow. Prow Prow just completely out of solutions. Man, what's with this ring? <laughs> There's so many slippages. Yeah, of course, this is the 16th fight of the night, I believe, as there was nine prelim fights. Not that guy, you can just see he's just controlling the fight. He's not hes not even trying to hurt Plow Prow anymore. He knows he doesn't really have anything to do but to, to stay on the, store, the scorecards like that and stay out of range like he's been doing all night. Yeah, absolutely. One minute and a half remaining on the clock. Look at the amount of skills <laughs> coming from Nadaka. More comfortable than ever right now. He's having fun. And he is so consistent in the way he fights at no moment. So he what's that? He's, when you touch the gloves, it kind of like in, in Muay Thai, it's yeah, uh, like I won, right? He's, he's asking his opponent to surrender so he can stop fighting. That's what it means. But so uh, Nadaka, no surrender from Prao Prao. Yeah, Prao Prao is not surrendering. But even though he is not surrendering, Nadaka still, by respect, isn't actually trying to hurt him because he's on a different level right now. And that's the beauty of Muay Thai. Yeah, that culture and the respect for your opponent is something that really uh, stands out about Muay Thai. Yeah, absolutely. But you also have to be at that level to be able to do this. This is why you see Nadaka just having fun in the ring right now, not really trying to hurt Plow Plow, but more like showcasing that he's just not. It's almost like a light sparring kind of, the technical yeah, sparring you see in absolutely. gyms, right? <laughs> well, Pr Nadaka made it look like he's in a technical sparring with an amateur tonight, even though Plow Plow is the current Ratchelman Stadium champion, or I would say was. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll make it official with Mr. Beer and get to interview both fighters. Say shoot. Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to introduce the president of RWS and the board right director of Russian of the Stadium, Mr. Bang Tian Chai, Mrs. Wutinan. And now, ladies and gentlemen, of the five rounds of Muay Thai action, we go to the judges' scorecard. All three judges score this vote 50. 244. Declaring your winner by way of unanimous decision. Blue Connor and new Roger Dustin here, super flyweight champion. Shosha Nadaka Ewa Sports Team! Today's match, the judges are together in 50-44. In 50-44, the winner of Nadaka Ewa Sports Team will be the winner of the match. 